Hello friends, welcome to my channel, my Prag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see what do you mean by independent compilation and separate compilation. So, Ada language supports separate compilation while our C, C++ and Java language supports independent compilation. Then what do you mean by separate compilation and what do you mean by independent compilation. So whenever when multiple files we are writing multiple programs we are writing and whenever there is a dependency in between these programs if we compile in any order then it is called as independent compilation but uh, if we have to compile these files in particular order only then it is called as separate compilation so files which define function so in separate compilation we have to follow one particular order of compilation so which order we have to follow files which define function should be compiled first and then compile the file which call this function so function which are defined in some files that should be compiled first and file from which you are calling that other functions that should be compiled at the end so separate compilation is supported by ADA language and our C++ Java language supports independent compilation so we will see example of C language and Java language and I will tell you how these languages supports independent compilation so here add fun.c that file I have written and in this file we are writing add function for addition in sub fun.c file we are writing sub function for subtraction sample.c file their main function will be there and from the main function we are calling add function from this file and sub function that is subtraction function from sub fun.c file now to include these two functions we have to use we have to take help of this header file so that prototype will mention in header.h file and this header.h file that is our own header file so here i have given name header.h any name you can give for example my header.h or head.h any name you can give so here i have given header.h name to this header file and that header file i will include in sample.c so we will open this So this is addfun.c file. Here I have written add function. It is accepting two parameters a and b. We are calculating sum and we are returning that. So here is only add function. Then this is a subfun.c file. Here only we are writing sub function. Again we are accepting two parameters. We are calculating subtraction and we are returning subtraction. So here there is no main function. Here you can see there is no main function. Only add function and sub function for subtraction. Then we have written one header file with the name header.h and there we have written prototype for these two functions. then one more file we have written that is sample.c here there is a main function and from this main function we are calling add function which is defined in add fun.c and we are calling sub function which is defined in sub fun.c but these functions are not present in this file right so for that we are including this header.h header file and this header file this header.h file as a prototype for add function and subtraction function now you may ask why I have mentioned like this why I have mentioned in double quote why I am not mentioning in this single angular bracket the reason is so this stdio.h or method.h or iostream.h all these are the standard header file which are defined by C library C language library but this is our own header file 
so we have to mention like this only okay we have to mention in double quote and suppose here we have mentioned this header file in the same folder where our sample.c file is present and other two files are present so that's why here directly we have written name of the header file but suppose these two files are this header.h file is present in somewhere else so there we have to given we have to give path for that for example see something like that suppose it is present in that folder so we have to mention like that but as header.h file is present in the same folder where sample.c file is there so we can directly mention header.h now see we will compile that so here you can see now we will compile add fun.c so we if we compile like this now look at this we got error why that error we are getting the reason is because there is no main function mentioned in add fun.c so what we will do again we will compile it but now we will provide one option hyphen c add fun.c now look at this so it get compiled and we got add fun.o that is the object file so uh, c language is providing this option hyphen c again in the same way we will compile sub fun.c okay so here we got sub fun.o that is the object file again we will compile sample.c but if we write like this so we will get error that undefined reference to add function and sub function because those functions we are not mentioned in sample.c so again we have to do one more thing that is hyphen c sample.c so we compile it now we got sample.o file now we will compile all these files together so add fun.o sub fun.o sample.o so now here you can see a.out that object file we got and now we will run this so we got this result addition 8 and subtraction minus 2 now that in the beginning i have told c language supports independent compilation that means we can compile compile this file in any order so here we are compiling add fun then sub fun and then sample.c but we can compile in any order as c language supports independent compilation so now uh, we will remove this file of uh, object file and we will see whether it works or not so we will remove this object code and again we will compile this but in some different order so suppose uh, we will compile sample.c first then we will compile uh, subfund.c and then we will compile addfund.c so the, then we will compile this together so ok and now we will run this so here you can see we have compiled in different order still there is no it is not going to affect on the final output so reason is C language supports independent compilation so such kind of compilation where in any sequence in any order we can compile multiple programs multiple files which has dependencies so it is called as independent compilation but if it is the same ada language program so in ada language so see uh, there files which define the function that should be compiled first and then only file or program which is calling that function that should be compiled at the end if it is the ADA language code and that's why we say ADA language has separate compilation it supports separate compilation while our C language supports independent compilation now we will see example of Java language 
Java language supports independent compilation. So here in the same way, we have written code uh, add function in add.java, subtraction function in sub.java and sample.java is calling these two functions. So here we will see it. So we will compile add.java. We will compile add.java. So we got add.class file. Then we will compile sub.java. So we got sub.class file. Then we will compile sample.java. So we got sub. Uh, sub uh, sample dot class file and now I will run this sample this file from this file we are calling add function and sub function so here you can see we got the output so I will show you uh, okay. so this is add dot java file where it has an add function we have written add class and in that we are calling we have defining add function this is a uh, sub dot java so it, we have mentioned sub function and there we are writing this sub method sub function and we are calling this two function in sample dot java so here we are calling add function and this sub function so there is no need to import package because this add.java and sub.java those are present in the same folder so there is no need to create any separate package as those are present in the same folder but if it is present in some other folder then we have to import that package we have to mention that folder names now see so again uh, we'll check we'll remove these class files and we'll compile in some different order so now see, suppose uh, I compile sample.java first, then suppose uh, I am compiling add.java, then I am compiling uh, sub.java, and then I am running this sample file, executable file. So see, again we got the same result. So I have changed the sequence of compilation of the Java file but i get the same result so that is why it is called as java supports independent compilation but if a uh, final output depends on uh, order of the compilation so ada language supports separate compilation so there what are the functions what are the program which is defining function first functions that should be compiled first and a uh, function or program which is calling those functions that should be compiled at the end if that is a dependency that we have to follow so it is called a like separate compilation so ADA language supports separate compilation so friends I hope you like this video if yes then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you